perform. The Marriott Way. Mr. Cooper has left no stone unturned to follow the vision of the courtyard by Marriott, that is, to be the best. And he has been constantly guiding teams to believe and be committed towards the core principles of the Marriott International Group of Hotels. Mr. Cooper also holds a degree in Management Hospitality from Brisbane, Australia and brings with him a deep understanding and vast knowledge and experience of 14 years in the hospitality industry. He has worked in diverse areas of operations and specializes in food and beverages divisions. Being an Australian national, Mr. Cooper has worked with the leading hotels of Australia. He is also known for his creativity and styling. So now, without making you wait for any longer, ladies and gentlemen, I would now like, uh, like to request Mr. Cooper to kindly come forward and address the gathering. Hello. How are you? That is my Blackberry. It is fine. I, I'm happy to leave my Blackberry alone for five minutes. I know that my daughter only said to me yesterday, Dad, you are a Blackberry boy. Okay, so my name is Matthew. I know in... In college, you guys are supposed to say Mr. Cooper, but that's my dad. So you can call me Matthew, and that's what my people call me. And I'm going to talk to you, and I want you to talk to me, because this is only going to be about learning. Okay? So you were all studying sales and marketing, finance, and human resources, yeah? It, did I miss any? Any discipline? International business, okay. Okay, well, that's what I'm going to talk to you about. What is the hardest thing, do you think, in any, ho I'll talk about a hotel industry, but I think it goes across all industries. What is the hardest thing in today's environment in India to maintain in business, do you think? Big voice, and I'll come. Tell me, ma'am. Consistency, can be, yes. What else? It's about people management. Customer retention. Employee retention. That is the hardest. Let us look at it. I'm opening a beautiful Marriott hotel, and you guys all want to work there. And then Western open a hotel next door and charge and give you 1,000 rupees more. <laughs> you go, right? It is because we work to make sure that our mums and dads are looked after, and our kids are looked after, and we take food and we place it on the table. So there's that only. So that is the the key. So why is it then that Marriott International? is the best company to work for in India for hotels, but pays at 75 percentile of, say, against Oberoi versus Starwood. I mean, we're, we're not low, but about 75 percent. How do we maintain that? And that's what I'm going to talk to you about, okay? Because it's very different these days. Who speaks fluent English? Who in this room speaks fluent English? You speak English? Yes, put your hand up if you speak English. Okay? Put your other hand up if you speak Hindi or another language. In my country, no one would do that. Okay? You guys are going to take the world forward. And when somebody said to me, why did you learn Hindi? I said, lost five years in India, one billion people, Indians are going to take over the world. I need to learn how to say yes, sir. Okay? So it's very important. So this is where it's starting because Marriott, we're building 130 hotels in your country. So there's a job for all of you, maybe general manager for all of you, maybe two hotels, one person. Okay, so who's heard of Marriott? Okay, who's heard of JW Marriott Mumbai? Every, yeah, everybody's heard of that one. That's where Priyanka Chopra lives and Abhishek Bachchan and, and that's where Ashwarya Rai got married at that hotel. Okay, so Marriott is a hospitality company. We are a management company. Okay, so we manage the hotel. We don't own the hotels. We manage them. Okay, so I work for Washington, D.C., and we manage the hotels. So, ma'am here says, here's 300 crores. I want to build a hotel. And I'll say, well, you need to do this, this, and this, and it has to be of this standard, and we need this size bedrooms and this size bathrooms, and we will give you a general manager who is working from Marriott, and he will manage it for you. And then we take a fee from the top line revenue and a percentage of fee from the bottom line rev a bottom line profit, and that's how Marriott make its money. There's 3,700 Marriott hotels around the world in all different brands. In India right now, there's 15. 
but within 10 years there'll be 182. Okay? So who wants a job with Marriott? <laughs> Good, yeah? Perfect. So I just have to take your names for GM's roles. Okay, so this is our vision. It's to be the global hospitality leader. We could do it in many ways. So wh what do you think make, is going to make us a leader in hospitality? What will make us a leader? Service that you offer? Yeah. But what's the point of difference? What is, the, what is it? Tell me. Dedication to work, yeah? And maybe dedication, your dedication to work and my dedication to help you work? What else? Effective and efficient services, yeah? Customer satisfaction, of course, because this is what it comes for, right? Quality. It's not just about doing the job. It's got, to, it's got to be done well. And frankly, with Marriott, if it's not there, we just say, don't worry, we're not going to do it. If it's not done well, we're not going to do it. Commonwealth Games Commission, one and a half years ago, asked me to do the Athletes' Village for food and beverage. And I knew that I'd be able to do it very well. But I wasn't sure if the infrastructure was going to be built in time. And I said, boss, I really don't think you're going to be ready. So we chose to move away. And that was some 70 crores business because our reputation is worth more. Because I would hate to find a cobra in my mother culture. <laughs> the South African cobra, let's call it. Okay, so we said consistency, we said service. What else? I, you know what, I can tell zzz, third year, zzz, first year. Is right? <laughs> yeah, first year sits it back. So what else is going to help Marriott be the world leader in hospitality? Marketing, yeah. And how do you market? Sales and marketing people? What's the essence of marketing? Yeah, creating a brand awareness, word of mouth, and a need for your product. So how we're going to do that is we're going to have world domination. Every time you walk around, when I show you the letter M, what does that mean? McDonald's. I didn't even have to show you the logo, you know what that means. Huh? So, McDonald's have created world domination when it comes to burgers and fast food. KFC. Who knows what KFC stands for? Kentucky Fried Chicken. Well, when I was young in Australia, it was only called Kentucky Fried Chicken. Now my children say, KFC, what is Kentucky Fried Chicken, yeah? Don't know. Okay, so we're going to become the hospitality leader. Now, if we're going to build all these hotels, they're not going to run themselves because they're not robots. I need people. I need sales and marketing people. I need finance people. I need operations people. I need whatever you can think of. Gardeners, housekeepers, potential general managers, trainees, students, drivers, porters, room attendants. There's so much positions available. And you think about it. This year alone, we'll open five new Marriotts, two in, in, uh, one in Jaipur, one in Chandigarh, one in Hyderabad, and two in Pune. So that's five general managers, okay? So that's 35 XCOM. That's 120 leadership team positions. That's 400 supervisory positions and 2,500 line positions. Now times that by 10, which is next year, and then times that by 100, which is the year after. So you guys have got to hurry, study, get top marks, and come and work for me quickly, yeah? Jolly Karo. Okay. So you said you heard of JW Marriott in Bombay? Yeah? Well, we also have um, Marriott Hotels, which is the, the mother brand, this one here. So in, in, in the India, we have Hyderabad Marriott and Goa Marriott. Okay? And then we have Renaissance. And Renaissance in India is in Mumbai. We have a, a hotel at Pauai. Uh, who's from Bombay? Anyone from Bombay? Lucky, yeah, you're all from Delhi. And then this is one that you may not know. We own Ritz-Carlton as well. And one Ritz-Carlton is coming in Bangalore right now. And very soon in CP, there'll be one Ritz-Carlton as well. CP Delhi. Oops, sorry. Okay. This one here is called Bulgari. 
Right now in India, we don't have Bulgari. You know that Bulgari makes the perfumes and watches? Yeah. They also design hotels for us, and they're very, very sexy. Okay? And then we have autograph. One autograph hotel will be coming in Delhi very soon. Okay? I can't tell you. Autograph is, a, is when we have a very significant hotel that we want to turn into a Marriott, but we don't want to lose the name. You know? So we call it such and such hotel, an autograph hotel by Marriott. Okay? Which means that you can keep the reputation for the sales and marketing guys, but then do that. Then we have our moderate tier. So business hotels. Okay? Courtyard by Marriott, which is the brand that I'm working in here in Gurgaon. And in that, we have uh, six of those, and the seventh one opening in about three weeks. So Ahmedabad, Hyderabad, Gurgaon, uh, Chennai, two in Pune. Um, Bombay has just opened recently. Am I missing one? I can't think. I'm missing one. No, not J4. There's a Marriott coming there. But anyway, they're, they're for them. And they're business hotels. So they're designed for business. Okay, and if you were to look at this, you thought, you know, these are the top tier and this is the next tier. It's not like that. One is designed for leisure and luxury, and one is designed to facilitate good business. Okay? Uh, we have Spring Hill Suites. We have Fairfield Inn and Suites. Very soon, this will be the largest hotel brand in, in your country. Some 95 Fairfield Inn and Suites opening in India. 95. So you could be general manager of 17 of them on your own. Then we have Residence Inn, which is extended stay, which means you know you stay for a long, long term. Town Place Suites, Married Executive Stay, and Married Executive Apartments, which we have in uh, Pauai as well. The Lakeside Chalet at Pauai uh, is a Married Executive Apartment. Then we have Ritz Carlton Club, Married Vacation Club, and Grand Residences, and they're timeshare. Okay? Okay, so how do you think Marriott started as a company? Who knows? Who would like to guess? It was a uh, Daba. Five, stu five seats. One, two, three, four, five. Five seats. Little roadside store. Okay, Mr. Marriott opened that to make some extra money. And 85 years later, he has 3,600 hotels and so much more. Think about it. Okay. He was born on September 17th, 1900. That's him, the old man. That's J.W. Marriott Sr. So J.W. is actually somebody's name. Marriott is somebody's name. John Willard Marriott, it was his name. And him and his wife, Alice, and you can see the little, the little stands there. And they opened root beer stall. Now, that's just like Coke. Okay, it's made from sarsaparilla and it's just... They used to sell Coke. Then they started getting a little bit busier and realized, you know what, we can sell some more food. And that's what they did. And because it was a, first, it was a restaurant venture, that is why Marriott is very focused on its food and beverage. So if you go to the JW Marriott in Bombay, their buffet is expansive and they've got the best nightclub in India and Enigma and, you know, the great Chinese restaurant. And my hotel has just got been awarded best Pan Asian restaurant in Delhi. So we're very focused on our on our business. So Mr. Marriott thought to himself, you know what? How am I going to retain these people? So he coined the phrase that said, if you take care of your associates, they will take care of your guests and the guests will keep coming back and pay the bills. So the word associate is used by many, many people, but it was a Marriott word. It's a coined Marriott word. So why do you think we call our people associates? Because they're working with us? What else? Why do we do it, bud? Creates the ownership to them, yeah? Because if it's theirs, if they're associated with the business, it becomes theirs. And to this day, we still call our people associates. Okay? And that culture has what is what has kept our 